Hey Libra, how are you doing? I hope you're very well. My name is Diane and we're going to do a love reading for June, but it's a timeless reading, so whenever this happens to pop up in your feed is when you were meant to see it. You're very, very welcome here. Thank you very much for checking out the reading. I really appreciate it. And if you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that so much as well. Um, I have a new channel as well, Libra, called How to Train Your Caterpillar, which is a spiritual life coaching channel. So if you feel like checking that out for me, I'd appreciate it very much. The link will be in the description box below the video. And um, apologies for the little delay in your reading, uh, Libra. I, just, I was a little under the weather in the last few days, so uh, if I'm feeling like if I'm sounding a bit choked up, that's that's why. Definitely getting an offer coming in here. Ace of Pentacles, right. Who is coming towards Libra? Okay, you have the Emperor, very nice. So this could be an Aries. Um, this is someone who's been to the school of life, <laughs> okay? This is someone with experience. They could be older than you, they don't have to be. It just means that they're mature. Um, very well respected person very wise you know they have a lot of wisdom because they've been through a lot and now they know what they want because they know what they don't want you see what i mean uh probably very successful in whatever it is they do very structured very organized very logical very disciplined person very faithful very loyal you know this is someone who's looking for someone to settle down with, really, like loyalty, companionship. Okay, so you have the star, could be an Aquarius. Am I taking all of these? Okay, we're gonna take them. So you have the star, you have the page of cups, so it could be a Pisces. You have the judgment card, could be dealing with a Scorpio, and you have the knight of cups. So. They're a very open energy with the star. Like what you see is what you get with this person. Um, they may do something for a living that's a little different, you know, it is Aquarius energy. So it might be something, you know, something a little, just, just different than what most people do. Uh, it could be something, you know, that's, it's very likely they'll do something that speaks to their soul with the star card. Especially with this Page of Cups energy, like this is someone very playful. They're, they're kind of a youthful, it's an interesting dynamic because you have the Emperor and the Page of Cups. So they're very mature and they've been through a lot, but at the same time with the Page of Cups, they've somehow managed to maintain their innocence and they're very playful. You know, very innocent. Um, kind of, I feel like this person has kind of worn their heart on their sleeve a little bit in the past, which is, you know, that's maybe a lesson they had to learn, unfortunately, like to, you know, to have some boundaries up here, really. But they're coming in as this Knight of Cups, they're coming in as very open, uh, very romantic person. Could definitely be a water sign, you have a lot of energy, they could be a Pisces. Very honourable, this person is very honourable. Get one more for that top row, please, Spirit. They're going to be a very healing energy with the star. Um, you have the Nine of Pentacles here. So this person is a single Pringle. Um, they may own their own business, but they're very independent, like financially. I would say they're very, you know, you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo, very attractive, very positive type of energy. Now with the Chariot here as well, could be a cancer, but you're dealing with someone who's had problems with self-esteem and self-worth in the past. Uh, so, that, you know, yeah, that's something that they've had to work on because I do think they're very successful, you know, with the chariot and the emperor and the nine of pentacles. However, what I would say about the chariot, now, they're very uh, motivated, very will willful, 
a lot of willpower, very disciplined, very determined, very focused. And I believe that is why they've succeeded. It's not so much because they're super confident. You know, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's had to put a lot of work into where they are. You know, like maybe they were a little, you know, like they've struggled with self-esteem in the past, so maybe they've kind of made themselves do public speaking or something. That type of thing, you know, someone that really is very determined to get where they want to go kind of despite themselves. <laughs> so that's something else. Also with the chariot, especially with this page of swords energy, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but um, they've left this behind. So the chariot can often talk about someone who has spent a lot of time in their life putting other people's needs before their own. Now that could be in terms of family, friends, romance, whatever. Um, and they've only now started to stop doing that and to start focusing on themselves. Because with the Page of Swords, they've, they're have they leaving that type of energy behind them. Um, like only ever, you know, like not valuing themselves basically and not focusing on what they wanted. And also they've been leaving, they're, they're leaving the, the low self-esteem behind as well. I'm stuttering. <laughs> um, you have the Three of Pentacles here as well. They could very well have their own business, like they might do something creative. But they're, they're wanting to move away from whatever this, like I do feel for some of you like this person has They've always done, you know, they've always put other people first. They've always put other people's needs before their own. So that can, that could involve their family or whatever. But the Three of Pentacles is like now they're determined to have something for themselves. You know, with the Three of Pentacles, they want to create something for themselves. I do also think for some of you, this is someone, they've been working very hard and it's possibly because they had their own business. Clarify this emperor. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. The emperor and the six of pentacles. This person is very generous. This is what I'm talking about. I think this person has been taught at some point that they weren't enough. They had to give to other people in in order to be loved or to be accepted or you know, they were raised in a family where it's like, that's just what you do. You just put up and shut up and just like, you know, stiff upper lip, be stoic and just do your job. You know, just give to people, that's your job. Because with the emperor, it's like they might find it hard to accept help or compliments or something like this. You know, any anything like that from other people and it's maybe something to do with their upbringing. Six of Pentacles, they're very, very giving, very generous, but I think they don't expect anything back. And I want to say it's because they're not, they're used to not getting it, <laughs> basically. You know, the Emperor is like, it's like daddy energy, right? Even if you're dealing with a woman, it's, you know, very much like that type of energy where you just, you're just expected to do things and not get anything in return, right? Which is fine, to some extent, but I feel like this person's been taught that so much that they they really struggle accepting help or accepting, you know, it's always like they have to be like the one that's providing for everyone else. And I'm not just talking about money, although it could be money, but you know, looking after, and it's like the focus was never allowed to be on them, it always had to be on other people, if you see what I mean. So this is maybe the first time in their life that they've been actually focusing on themselves and being like, well, wait a minute, what do I want? You know? And also with the Emperor and the Six of Pentacles, they might be your boss. That could be another thing. They might be your manager or your boss. Clarify the star, please. Or you might be their manager or their boss. Clarify the star. They're definitely boss energy. Clarify the star. Okay, you have the star and you have the strength. Yep. 
yeah, see, they're very strong. <laughs> you could be dealing with a Leo, but they're very, very strong. There's such an energy with this person, even if you're dealing with a female. There's such an energy with this person of like, they were, it's like responsibility. They've had, you know, they might have been very responsible for a lot of people, like, you know, like their family, like maybe a, just for an example, say it was someone in a family where the dad left, you know, and they had to almost like step in and fill that role or like the mother left and they had to step in and fill that role. It was like, you couldn't complain. You didn't, it was just expected of you that you would do this because that's who you were. You know, it's like they didn't get a say in it and they just did it. They, you know, and they didn't complain. They're a very strong person though. I think they've been doing some healing is what I want to say. Because I do think this person maybe has like, not so much a wild side, but in the past maybe they've not really thought things through that much and they've kind of just gone off on these sort of missions of their lower will, right, if you will. And with the strength card, it's like they've learned how to control that now. That's been part of their healing. Very, very intuitive person, but kind of mysterious. Like they're, you know, with the high priestess here, this is not someone who reveals everything about themselves as soon as you meet them, you know. But I think this person is very good with their money. You know, they either have like, they're good at making money is what I want to say. They may, for some of you, this person may have been through a divorce with the justice card there, but they're very balanced. They're very fair. They're very like you, Libra, you know, they're very, it's a very fair energy. They like to see, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if this person has, has something for a job that makes the world a better place in some way, like a humanitarian, um, or something, you know, it's the, they like to see things fair. They're very in touch with themselves, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clarify this page of cups. Like, they're very in union with themselves. And I think that's something that's come over time with this person. I, You know, clarify this page of cups, please. Clarify this page of cups. <clears throat> Clarify this page of cups, please. It's interesting, the cards are taking a while to come out with this person. You have the King of Wands. Okay. So, um, this, okay. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This person gets a lot of attention. And I don't, this is, they don't mean to, they don't seek it out. You know, that's often the energy with the Six of Wands is someone that, they, they, they get a lot of attention, but they don't necessarily seek it out. They're just kind of a dynamic, excuse me, uh, Libra. <coughs> They're just kind of a dynamic energy. They're kind of a popular energy. Like you'll find that this person's pretty well liked. Um, and it is be it's because of their energy. Like with the Page of Cups and the King of Wands, <coughs> they're, they're very feisty. They're probably very, very attractive. King of Wands energy is very attractive, very charming, very alluring, very passionate. They're going to feel very, very passionate about you, <laughs> like physically very attracted to you. They're kind of besotted is what I want to say. The King of Wands is very loyal, you know, and they will expect loyalty in return. This is not someone that just gets with anyone. You know, this is like, this person has been waiting for the right person. Um, but it's like they have this, on the outside, like they're very alluring, you know, if it's a guy, like, I don't know, they might be kind of shredded. Do you know what I mean? They might be like big or something. I don't know. They're just very attractive. And if it's a woman, you know, they just have this natural, they're just very naturally alluring. So I think they get a lot of attention in that way. However, with the Page of Cups here at their heart, like, you know, 
at the center, they don't see themselves like that. Um, you know, they're they're almost kind of childlike. They're very innocent. They're very pure. So they may kind of get themselves in trouble sometimes, not get themselves in trouble, but there's almost an innocence with this person where, you know, they might be attracting people without even really noticing or without even really meaning to. And it, they end up with these people crushing on them where they didn't really want it. Do you know what I mean? That kind of energy. It's almost like they don't understand the kind of energy that they're putting out. Even though they, they kind of do. It's, it's a weird mix. But at their, at their core, they're just like very, very childlike, very playful. But I think they, they can be kind of intimidating on the surface because they are so, like they put off this vibe of being very confident, being very like, you know, alluring. And they get all this attention, you know, but it's just who they are. I think they're very, you might almost say this person was a little ADHD or something like that. Um... Not in a bad way, I mean like I'm a Gemini, you could say that about me, I have that kind of energy, but you know, they're just, they always have a project, you know, and they're very, they like to talk to people and they're just a very popular person I think because of that type of energy. And also I would say because they're so giving of themselves to people because that's kind of how they've been trained, which seems to come from childhood, you have the Six of Cups here. Probably they get taken advantage of a little bit or they may be used to in the past. Clarify the judgment, please. Okay, you have judgment and temperance. So they've been, you have this 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck. So there's a heavy energy that this person has been carrying that they're putting down, they're learning to put down, you know, with the temperance. I think this person's had a lot of judgment in their life. And I don't know if that's come from the family. And I also think they naturally, like I said, I think they attract a lot of attention. So, you know, maybe people just kind of come for this person, like they get a lot of judgment, you know, that, that tall poppy syndrome kind of thing. Which is like maybe why they're this emperor energy now, like they're very kind of structured about who they let in, you know? Because with the temperance, you know, that's it's a card of whew, learning how to balance negative energies, right? I, I just feel like this person's had an awful lot of judgment in their life. But they're really sweet, like they really haven't let it turn them into a bitter Betty. I think they're more hurt than anything else is what I would say because they're still showing up as this page of cups, like really sweet, very innocent in that knight of cups. So they're still going to be very open with you. I think they're just very careful about who they let in now and like what they show to people, you know, so they don't get hurt. And like I said, they've had confidence problems. So it's maybe come from the judgment that they've gotten from people, but you have the 10 of wands. So they're learning to put that down. And I've just happened to pick it up to the full, you know, so this is like a new cycle in this person's life where they're kind of realizing it's like, oh, like I didn't do anything wrong. You know, like I've been getting judged a lot, but that's not something that wasn't my fault. Right. Clarify the Knight of Cups. <laughs> okay, so you have the Knight of Cups with the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. All right. So who had that? Was it Scorpio or Sagittarius? One of them had it. Um, a similar thing. So you have the Knight of Cups here with the Queen of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now they're coming in with a love offer, right? With the Knight of Cups, they're coming in. They're very romantic, like heart on their sleeve, like, you know, all lovey-dovey, soppy energy. And at the same time, they're a little guarded, okay? They, this is someone who does not open up to a lot of people. They have been keeping their heart kind of on lockdown, so I don't know if something specific happened. 
Um, or if there's just been so much judgment in this person's life, you know, it's just very hard for them to open up. Because the Queen of Swords energy is someone, now they're very smart, lots of life experience, um, great sense of humour, really funny. But you know she has that sword up, right? She can be kind of defensive because she's been through a lot. And with the Four of Pentacles, you know, she's kind of protecting he or she, they're kind of protecting their heart space. So they're coming in with this love offer, but they may be a little defensive. It may take you a little while to kind of chip away through that, um, you know, the, the to, to find this Page of Cups, basically, you know, because the Queen of Swords is who's on the outside, okay? Someone that's trying to protect themselves because they don't want to get hurt. Um, but at the same time, they're desperate to let this page of cups out with someone, you know, and there's this knight of pentacles again. So it's like, it's like they've, they've kind of just been taught, like, just stop complaining. You know what I mean? Just stop complaining. It could be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn you're dealing with, but it's just, just, just stop complaining. You know, stop, stop whining. People don't need to hear about your problems, right? Conditional love. Just get it done. Get get the job done. Right? No one needs to hear about your emotions. So that might have been something that they've... That's the reason that that's not their go-to, right? I think they've been raised like that. Yeah. Six of Cups. This is a childhood issue. Okay? But the Eight of Pentacles, they're working really hard. They've been working really hard on it. This is actually the reason for the delay. If there's, if this is someone you've already met, okay? They were working through childhood issues. Could be a Pisces or a Virgo. You might have met this person through your work or you might meet them through your work or with the Eight of Pentacles, there might be something that they're really good at. Like maybe they teach a night class or you teach a night class or something but they felt very stuck. Uh, it's almost like they were kind of getting in their own way and it's something, it's, it's to do with their childhood. There's been this like new inspiration. You, you are their new inspiration to kind of deal with all this stuff. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles, please. Okay, I'm just gonna take this one. So you have the Nine, Nine of Pentacles clarified by the King of Swords. <laughs> okay, so they're very much showing up as like sword energy. You could definitely be dealing with a Virgo. Could definitely be Gem excuse me, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think there's a lot of signs in this reading though. Excuse me, but you have the Ten of pen, uh, Cups at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So this person is looking for commitment. Oh, Libra, look at that. You have the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Like, this person's looking to settle down. They're looking for love. They're looking for commitment. You know, they see that with you. That's, I think, why they've tried so hard. Because I think this is the reason for the delay. They've been dealing with inner child healing. And, you know, this person's used to being left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles with the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They're used to being rejected or they're used to being left out in the cold. Oh. So with this King of Swords energy here, um, with this King of Swords energy here, the reason that they show up as a little defensive is because it's due to lack of confidence, okay? And this person is holding out because they realize their self-worth. And I think you had a lot to do with that or when you meet them, you will have a lot to do with that. Like they're holding out, I think they're like that anyway though. It's, it's funny, this person, they're a very mixed bag, they're very eclectic. You know, maybe in the past, they've not realized their worth but th they're holding out for the right person. 
they're they are kind of defensive though and it's it's because they've they've struggled with self-confidence in the past like maybe they've let the wrong person in in the past they're really trying very hard to protect themselves you know they don't want to get hurt they don't want to be made to look a fool of they could be uh some kind of teacher they could be a youtuber they could be a writer anything to do with communication they could also be law they could be army they're very mentally based. This person is very mentally based. I also want to say they put you up on a bit of a pedestal here, Libra, with this King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Like, they think you're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. They kind of think you're a little out of their league, also. Um, but this is a very mental connection. Like, it's. You're both very attracted to each other. This person is certainly very attracted to you. <laughs> like really really attracted to you uh, physically but also mentally there's such a spark here like there's such a connection I think you're gonna have some really really good conversations with this person because I think that's what impresses this person is what I want to say um, is there anything else I want to say about that I feel like I have to read that one because that came out. I didn't mean to make your reading, reading so long, Libra, but it is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, they just really don't want to get hurt, okay? But they're coming in with this love offer, okay? So I would say just be patient with this person because they, they really put you up on a pedestal. They think you're awesome. They have some childhood issues they've been working very, very hard to get through because they see this with you. They see you as the one. Like, they see you that you can be very, very happy together. Like, I think for a lot of you, this person is looking to raise a family or certainly to, like, at least live with you. You know, like a commitment. Um, so they might just be a little, you know, it might just take this person a little bit of time to, like, tap into emotions you know, or really let their guard down with you, okay? But there's this page of cups that just is like screaming to get out with this person because they're really romantic and playful and sweet at heart. I think they've just kind of had to hide it because people have judged them. People have been mean to them. And you have here, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So this person may... They may have had a lot of controlling energies in their life. So it's like they don't, they, you know, they might very much value their independence. So it's, it's, it's a really nice, it's going to be a nice connection because they, they don't want possessiveness. You know, they're not going to be possessive with you. You're going to, it's going to be a very, very close connection, but it's not going to be controlling. Like it's not going to be suffocating. Because I do feel, I feel there's been some kind of, yeah, someone's maybe done that to them before. Like, I, I think it might, it might be the family. I keep coming back to the family with this person, okay? There's some kind of issue with the family. Like, there might be some very strong characters in the family that were controlling or something. So the best thing that you can probably do with this person is just let them know that you love them. And just, you know, you might almost have to, like, coax them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. Okay. Where do I put this? Here. Okay, so th this is self-acceptance. Um, they've been learning self-acceptance, this person. I do think they struggle with self-esteem. Okay, um, what else would this person like to see? Or what else does Libra need to know? Twin flames, your passion ignites. So, you know, I don't really like labeling things twin flames. Now, they could have had a twin flame connection in the past, um, which they're getting over, but you guys could be twin flames. But with the twin flame thing, I take it to be more like yin yang. You know, like this person sees you as their counterpart. They see you as like, you know, the yin to their yang or the yang to their yin, right? 
um, like the, you know, they see you as someone that like you complete them, you know, what you lack they have and vice versa. Like you, you're very, you go very well together, you know, but also they're very, very passionate. It's a very passionate, very energetic, almost intimidating person. They won't intimidate you. I think maybe they intimidate other people. Look, soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So this person is your soulmate. Okay, they see you as their soulmate. Uh, surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So I'm putting that over the Six of Cups. So it's something to do. It could just be their past. Okay, but I think for a lot of you this is someone dealing with childhood issues that they've been working through, okay? And let's just get one more. Okay. Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. See, they're kind of projecting, they really put you up on a pedestal here, Libra. Um, because like I said, they do suffer with low self-esteem. They're gorgeous. This person's gorgeous. For any cross watchers, you're gorgeous, okay? You're showing up here as the Nine of Pentacles. You're a hottie. King of Wands, you're gorgeous. But Libra, this person really puts you up on a pedestal. Okay, so that in itself is going to sort of create a block. You know what I mean? Because it's like, oh, this person's better than me. And like that kind of it kind of creates an energetic block. So that's obviously something they've been dealing with as well. Because, you know, the higher this person's self-esteem raises, the less that they will do that with people, you know. Well, with you. There's no one else for this person. They are besotted with you. So Libra, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was a useful reading. Uh, many, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. Many blessings, Libra. Love and light.